Hey YouTube, it's JP from Oracle Reptiles. Uh, just got a phone call a little while ago to say that uh, some residents have got a very large snake. Uh, we presume it's a, a Southern African python at uh, their residence. They're busy clearing some land to to build a house, and apparently the snake is is there. Um, so we're just going to shoot out quickly, see if we can find it. If it is a Southern African python, obviously we'll uh, we'll get in contact with Isambelo KZN Wildlife just to make sure that they know we have it and secondly that they're happy with us to release it or alternatively we can hand it over to them and they can go find a, a spot for, for it to be released. Uh, yeah, well, let's let's go and see if we can catch it. No, no. The tick on it. So what you got here is a, a puff adder. It's a highly venomous uh, hinged front fang snake. It's a very, very powerful. Uh, but it's not harmed. Uh, no, no, it's not harmed. <laughs> yeah, you can see it's got a tick on it. You see yeah. on the side here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see. It's got a tick, yeah. yeah. I'll leave that one for you. Did it swallow something? No, 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 no. It's, it's fresh. Yeah, it's good. You saw the teeth in this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come look. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's fat like a python, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's very, very fat, yeah. These snakes, they don't move very quickly. So what they do, they lie there perfectly still yeah. and then hope you don't see them. Unfortunately, people stand on them or well, they stand close to them. Then this one bites. If this one bites, it's big troubles. Yeah, I know. Hey, that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hundred percent. No, we really appreciate you guys not killing the snake. Thank you very much. Yeah. We will no, find I'm somewhere saying. safe and we'll go let it go I'm far away. <laughs> <laughs> come, I'm holding the head away. You can come touch it. <laughs> Why was he playing dead? No, they hide like that because they don't move very quickly. Yeah. So they'll lie perfectly still and then hope the camouflage oh, oh. that you can't see it. And then you, you leave it alone, it will go on its way. Oh, <laughs> Finished catching this puppet and uh, on the way back to the car, I've noticed there's a chameleon here in uh, this bush here. Hey, so far? Yeah. Hey, good eyesight, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Little flap neck chameleon. Uh, they're obviously quite a common species in the right area. And this is obviously the right area. It's a beautiful, pristine area. Guys are busy clearing some some uh, land here to to build their their house. Uh, they are obviously diurnal, active during the day, and at night they tend to to sleep in bushes like this near the top. Um, it's not uncommon to find more than one of them in an area. I'm sure if we uh, looked hard enough, we would definitely be able to find one or two more. Um, the very cool thing about coming to areas like this that we don't normally come to is that we can uh, road cruise on the way home and see if we can't find any other interesting reptiles on the way back. Let's let this guy go. Enjoy his days. Okay. can see by the hemipenal bulges this is a an adult male um, beautiful species of, of chameleon uh, relatively widespread throughout uh, southern Africa and food unfortunately for Wormsong and vine snake and a host of other arboreal snakes that um, that we do find here absolute beauty there. this area is perfect for for all sorts of reptile species, uh, as you saw, we already got a, a chameleon earlier. Uh, and look around a little bit more. Here's another flapneck chameleon uh, sitting in the tree. This is their typical uh, posture at night. This is how they normally hide up with the tail curled like this, up against a, a branch. This area is pristine and uh, obviously great for, for reptile species such as chameleons. Uh, looks like she has woken up, but I'm not going to disturb her. We'll leave her here, let her be on her way. We've just come from one call out and uh, looking for snakes. And okay, and cool. James um, has just got another call out. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the chances see. are it's a, it's a harmless other herald snake or brown house snake. Um, Decreasing, yeah, and there's a stiletto snake here. I don't know what's name. Let's see if I can get it out onto the road. Wow, what an evening. Uh, yeah, we just got a, a stiletto snake on the road now as well. Um, but the traffic is so hectic uh, on this road that we couldn't leave it on the road, obviously. Um, so we've uh, we've caught it, put it into a bottle. We didn't even have a tub or a tube or anything to, to put it into. So I, uh, <laughs> we managed to get it into a, a water bottle. Um, yeah, we'll take a, take a few photos. Have a little chat about these snakes um, if you remember my previous video on the wolf snake this is the snake that it uh, looks so much like except this one is highly highly venomous and causes such a lot of bites to inexperienced people or people trying to catch it 
you can't actually hold the snake behind the head because of the way the the fangs are, are situated but um, I'll get into I'll get into that in a in a full video um, we can chat about it but yeah what an evening uh, so we, we're definitely gonna take a, a scenic route back home um, I'm sure we're gonna find a, a few more snakes on the road because the flying ants are out and if the flying ants are out then the frogs and the lizards and everything else will be out as well um, they don't pass up a, a feast like that very easily so hopefully we we get a, a whole bunch of really really cool uh, animals on the road we'll uh, we'll see what we can find some of the red toads that are hopping in the in the road here trying to swerve them swerve to avoid them but there's so many of them um, we'll try and take this one off the road at least we saved one of them all right we're back home now um, for, unfortunately no more live snakes on the road we did find one uh, dead on road herald snake um, guys if you enjoyed the video uh, please consider subscribing to the channel liking the videos hitting that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on anything and we'll bring you some more videos very very shortly cheers